Madofsky had left the cabinet open. On the shelf inside was a business card and a scribbled note. I picked up the business card. It read, Wilfred Hobbs, Fine Art Restoration. I made a note of the address. Then I put the card back where I'd found it. No point arousing Madofsky's suspicions. The note read, L. Serp Drawings for you to check. W.H. Now we're cooking with gas. I wondered if the painting could be in the portfolio that Madofsky had taken. I suspected the medals weren't from the Moscow Debating Society. Everything was in Cyrillic, except for a number, 1869. It was a thank you note from a British politician. Huh, Madofsky certainly had some dubious friends. See a penny, pick it up, then all day you'll have good luck. Hmm, a Russian imperial egg. It looked rather plain. That was almost a great idea. It seems Armadovsky has friends in low places. It's like my boss said, the guy wants to be a player. Locked. I could only hope that Madovsky hid the key somewhere in the room. It was a beautifully inlaid cigarette box. The catch had snapped. The paper clip just flexed and slipped off the catch. By extraordinary good fortune, the coin I'd picked up was the perfect shape to flip open the broken catch. Fancy that. Keys are always useful. Romanovs. The same brand of cigarettes that were in the ashtray in Vera's security. Can you hear what they're saying? Yes. You should not have turned up here, Mr. Hobbs. I made it clear I would deliver the package later today. I wanted to make sure it got to me all right. I've got a lot of work to do on it. This is most inconvenient. Madovsky's arguing with his visitor, Ops, about the portfolio. That portfolio is important, I'm sure of it. The study door's open now. Hear anything else interesting? Hang on. Listen, Hobbs. Just take the portfolio and do your work. You are nervous, and I don't like that. Understood. I have got a few questions, though. I do not like questions, either. Hurry up. I noticed a couple of people arriving. Who were they? They look like coppers. They were from the insurance company. Has the... Hobbs is going to head off with the portfolio. Whatever's in there is important. We need to stay with it. I got Hobbs' address from his card. When we're done here, we should check it out. Okay, Josh, but hurry. Madovsky will be back soon. I'm going to check out the study. Okay. Wow, there must be millions of dollars worth of art on these walls. The drawer was open. My heart skipped a beat. But inside, I saw only a candy bar wrapper. The desk was magnificent. Those two little holes were just waiting for me to put my fingers in them. I resisted the urge.
Madofsky had left the cabinet open. On the shelf inside was a business card and a scribbled note. Madofsky had left the cabinet open. On the shelf inside was a business card and a scribbled note. A secret drawer popped open. I knew that publication date would be significant. At last, I was going to discover Madofsky's secrets. It certainly wasn't Madofsky's sock drawer. Hey, Nico, come see this. I think we've struck gold. Hang on, I'm coming. Look, a letter from a guy called Gainin. His company, Wolfram, want to purchase La Maledizio. They're offering way over the asking price. Anything connecting Madovsky to Vera? Well, let's see. Here we go. A lease for Vera security. Aha! Then we have the proof we need. Hang on, what's this? Expenses for a Mr. Shears. Waterloo Motors, one helmet. These are from Paris. Madame La Trex. <clears throat> Hotel Britannique, pizza, Nico, pizza. I think your friend Shears might just be Henri's killer. Shosh, what have we got ourselves into? I, I just heard the front door close. Madovsky's coming. Put everything back in order, quick. Right. He'll never suspect we just ransacked his house for evidence. Jules, the coin! Damn, no time. Look cool, Nico. I'll handle this. I apologize for the lengthy wait. As you can imagine, my time is at a premium. That's fine, Mr. Madofsky. I think we're almost finished anyway. And payment? Very soon, monsieur. Very soon. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Nice collection of medals you have there, Mr. Madofsky. I earned them serving my country. Anywhere interesting? Chechnya. Ever been there? Uh, no, can't say I've had the pleasure. Is that a first edition of War and Peace? Of course. Printed in 1869. A great year for my country's literature. And Tolstoy is the master. Is that a picture of you with Colonel Gaddafi? 
A deeply wonderful man. He was a great fan of the Impressionists. Well, he certainly left quite an impression on Libya. So, what brought you into the art business, Mr. Madofsky? Oh, an eye for great artists, an appreciation of fine culture, and a love of <laughs> what you Americans call the greenback. You must be upset at the theft of La Maladizio. Yes, and disappointed that someone would kill for such a minor piece. So this Hobbes guy, good friend of yours, is he? No, we simply have a business arrangement. We've been through this already. Now please, if you're quite finished, I'm a busy man. Thank you for your time, Monsieur Madovsky. We'll be in touch soon. Well, no prizes for guessing where we go now. Hobbes' place, right? Got it in one. Madovsky's pretty shady, don't you think? He bought our act, though. You make a pretty good insurance man, Georges. Yeah, who'd have thought it? By the time he realizes we're not assessing his claim, we'll have cracked the case and be toasting our success. Here's hoping. Looks like rain. Come on, let's get that cab. Taxi! I think we just stepped off the London tourist trail. I guess this Hobbes character doesn't like visitors. Not the kind of place you'd expect to find a restorer of old masters. Unless you didn't want to attract attention. He's attracted ours. Let's see what Mr. Hobbs knows about La Maledixio. And let's try and get a look inside that portfolio. The door was locked. Looking through the window, I could see that there was nothing in the van. Hobbs must have taken the portfolio inside. Slasha. I decided to leave. The large dumpster was full of garbage. Climbing drain pipes was something I preferred to avoid, unless I had a great reason to do so. I don't think there's anyone home. There's a light on upstairs. Climbing drain pipes was something I preferred to avoid, unless I had a great reason to do so. The hood was definitely stuck. Not a sound. The horn wasn't working. I dis... I'd need the keys to start the engine. I had no reason, nor any desire, to steal Hobbs's van. I popped open the van's hood.
The engine was held together by rust and dirt. Everything was covered in a sticky film of dirty black oil. Half the wiring wasn't connected to anything. It was clear why the horn hadn't made a noise. Neither horn pipe was connected to either the battery or the cab. It was the van's engine. I... It was the van battery. I needed to hook this up to the horn somehow. That would be pointless. A bundle of short, severed wires was connected to the battery. None of the wires were connected to anything. It was the van battery. A bundle of wires came into the engine bay from the dashboard. Many of the wires seemed to lead nowhere. That wasn't... It was one of two horns in the van. It didn't seem to be connected to anything else under the hood. Two wires hung loose from it. A loose wire hung from the left-hand horn. If I had some spare cable, I could connect it to the wires from the cab. Piles of junk, mostly boxes of old paints and scraps of picture frames. Mixed in were wires, cardboard, and some dubious-looking old clothes. George Stobart. Ah, Monsieur Stobart. I trust you have obeyed my instructions not to leave Paris. Of course, Inspector. Good. You clearly know which side your cookie is buttered. Now, I require your presence tomorrow at the murder scene for a reconstruction. I see. Twelve o'clock sharp, Monsieur. Or, as you would say, high noon. Uh, sure. Any failure to comply, and I shall have you extraordinarily rendered. Have a nice day now. And you. That was Nave. We're required back at the gallery tomorrow for a crime scene reconstruction. Let me guess. Non-attendance is a criminal offense? You got it. I had found just what I needed. Two lengths of wire. The engine bay was... That wouldn't make... I used the wall. It was one of two. It didn't seem to be connected to anything else under the hood. Two wires hung loose from it. A loose wire hung. A loose wire hung from. I connected the wire. A bundle of short, severed wire. A bundle of wires came into the engine bay. The horn wasn't.
a bundle of short, severed A bundle of short, severed wires was... I used the wire to join the battery to the horn. I connected the wires from the cab to the horn. The horn. There was already a wire connected to that turn. the horn I snipped the wire in half I used the wire to join the battery to the horn That wire wasn't long enough to reach me. That wouldn't work. The wire was just long enough to connect the battery to the horn. I connected the wires from the... Everything was wired up. The horn. I figured that should get Hobbs' attention. All right, hold your blooming horses. What are you up to with my van? Hello there. Uh, we fixed your horn. So I hear. Now, what are you doing in my yard? Mr. Hobbs, do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Yes. Yes, you will answer a few questions? Yes, I do mind. Clear? Not really. Good. Now, get lost. Well, that could have gone better. He's not exactly the friendliest of characters. I decided to give it another blast. For crying out loud, will you leave my van alone? Sorry, uh, just need a quick word, Mr. Hobbs. I was sure he... Mr. Hobbs, let me just show you this. Get lost. This... Them. I decided to give... You two again? What is it this time? Hello there. We'd like to discuss some restoration work with you. Then make an appointment. I'm busy. This is crazy. We need to get in there and take a look around. We need a good cover story.
It was Hobbs's mailbox. There was a note hanging out. For a second, I debated the morality of mail snooping. It was a short debate, and I won. Nico? What's up? So, Hobbs doesn't want us... It's like Detroit around here, and it's gonna be dark soon. Shall we head back? No! We need to convince Hobbs to let us in. What do you think of this, Nico? I don't know. Uh, do you think it might be useful? That what I decided to What now? I had no idea what was in the letter. Sorry. This is crazy. We need. I decided to open the letter. Dear Mr. Hobbs, due to previous incidents, we are writing to inform you that we will no longer be sending models to your address. It went on to discuss Hobbs's temper and other alleged infractions, some of which still carry the death sentence in certain less sophisticated cultures. Interesting. I decide... What now? Afternoon, Mr. Hobbs. We're from the model agency. About blooming time. I'm on a deadline. You better come up. 